since it happened, a few kind of cringy and unfortunate things have happened. One of the most cringiest, lamest and unfortunate thing to happen in the entire thing has been this picture that features Annie Liederman and Brendan Shaw behind the scenes. And the caption is squash fest 2023, baby, hashtag skank fest ruled. And most of you who've been clocking into my channel, clocking into my live streams and shit will know the history between Annie Liederman and Brendan. Essentially, Annie Liederman was kind of the first person to push the dominoes um against brendan that kind of maybe exposed how much of a douchebag he is to other people outside of the t fat k subreddit and if anything she was quite brave in saying the thing that she said it insults me too because i when guys do that it makes me so like you just think i'm that big yeah i had a guy that was like why don't you walk me to my truck, this married guy, where I'm like, and we know him, I'm not gonna say who it is, but um, he's like, know him. why don't you give me a walk, why don't you give, like, you should walk me to my truck. I'm like, so what, I can blow you? Like, what? Wait, like, who was it? Oh. But it's just like, Ew. it's like, why would I? Wait, like, I love that we have the same people that- Yes, that the same ones come for Want us to walk for you? Their... Oh, he came for me so hard, and we know his- Pause, he came for me, pause, Kalele, pause. He came for me? pause this chick Esther, on, Maybe new not that you watched her. on new year's eve while he was having dinner with his family he was like what are you doing tonight this year what are maybe you three doing years here? ago he was like what are you doing tonight i was like left him on red he but was he like, knows well, i hate that i'm with my yes. in-laws right now do you want to go he At did least that, to that me. is like he thinks you're gonna be a partner in crime like for me i was like single i'm like why would i like it's not like we're deviants together. It's like, you think, cause I was thinking about like, if we go to your truck, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, let's say I was like in, which I was never in at all. <laughs> let's say I was in, it's like, I love this. so wait, we walk to my car. I finished my spot being very good at comedy. You not being good at comedy. <laughs> And then, that's a so, clue. By the way, I don't want like to be seen with you. That's I don't. The biggest clue you could ever give. And like, so you're not good at comedy. And then you want me to walk you to your car, like. So I let's say okay. So I'm literally like I, I leave a sea of adoring fans. Okay, like I leave a sea of like people being like, "Can I take pictures with you? You're amazing. Where'd you get your outfit? It's Esther Club. You can get it on or it's Sleepover by Esther. You can get it on her website and Esther on Ice." I'm like in the middle of just like joy. You want me to stop like what I've worked my ass off to do? You want me to stop doing that so I can walk you? <laughs> to a car that's more expensive than the one I'm living in at that time. <laughs> to then, yes. to what, suck your dick? Like, I'm not coming in this situation. Like, what is this, <laughs> where's my orgasm in this scenario? There's no, like, it wasn't what, are you gonna bang me doggy style while the, <laughs> the door guys look fucking Christopher Columbus me? <laughs> no. <laughs> What is the incentive? But I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, what would I get out of this? Mm -hmm. That I get to suck your unfunny dick? Like, I'm good. <laughs> and um, it kind of feels a bit shitty, right? To know somebody that's a colleague would look at you in that way and would offer, would kind of, you know, offer you, uh, would proposition you sexually in that way, allegedly. It will kind of obviously hurt your feelings and make you feel a little bit shitty. So you obviously was in her right to share the story she didn't really divulge any more detail she didn't even name him but if you were smart and you could put two and two together you can maybe deduce that it was brendan and that was what led to everything kind of going a bit fucked up and shit but the reaction to it was quite interesting when it happened because immediately what you saw wasn't a lot of people banding around annie lederman and sort of like giving her you know a supportive hug or putting their e-arm around her and stuff and whatever it may be it seemed like a lot of the comedians had a lot more of an issue with her exposing or revealing that brendan allegedly said what he allegedly said than the actual act itself which was a really interesting reveal to people like myself who kind of keep an you know tism eye and all this sort of thing is that it kind of revealed in part that these comedians most likely have an unwritten rule between each other that you're not really allowed to speak about the things that people get up to in the comedy clubs or in the comedy scene, whatever that is called, on podcasts. You're kind of meant to keep that you know, behind closed doors. You're not meant to say, oh, I saw this person with that person. I saw this person doing this. I saw this person going to the toilet. You're meant to kind of keep that, you know, close to yourself and obviously keep it private. And the fact that she revealed something like that, I feel annoyed and maybe 
um, pissed off a lot of comedians because they probably thought, oh, I do some fucked up shit in clubs too. What's she going to say about me if I end up crossing her paths? Which is really the wrong way to kind of look about those type of things. But, you know, comedians, one thing they're always going to do is they're always going to make sure that they, um, you know, switch on the switch of self-preservation at all times. So that was kind of upsetting to see, but also not surprising, but also may explain this picture that's in front of you right now because it seems like Annie Liederman's career hasn't been the same ever since maybe ticket wise she's fine maybe her live shows are okay but when it comes to the comedy community and scene and all this malarkey it seems she has in a way fallen out of favor ever since that reveal happened and probably isn't the case I'm probably talking out my ass I probably don't know what I'm talking about but it seems that that's the case so this picture on that respect doesn't seem that surprising that she would go out of her way to be like you know what let bygones be bygones let me forgive the person who propositioned me for fellatio in his white pickup truck um let me ignore the fact that what you know the, what that story could have done for my career what it could have done for my perception and everything let me let me ignore that and let me just let bygones be bygones because the most important thing to me isn't self-respect the most important thing to me is my career that i've worked so hard to achieve so maybe that is a reason why she decided to take this picture which is kind of awkward to say the least right they don't really seem like they're very close to each other they don't really seem like there's a lot of love going on there it just seems like one of those things of like hey we both have a career we both have family to support we both have people that depend on us we just let bygones be bygones and just kind of move on because if not this isn't going to help us in any way shape or form but the problem with annie is that she called brendan now in very direct ways right saying that he's not funny questioning his validity in the scene um you know um she went on podcasts essentially berating the guy and again saying things about him behind the scenes and all this other malarkey to do this just seems it just doesn't paint her in the best light you know that's the only problem it just doesn't really paint her in the best light unfortunately but i also understand her position i definitely understand that she's a grown-up she needs to maybe look after number one because no one else is going to look after her clearly the industry isn't going to um you know protect her in any way shape or form so she has to do right by her career and maybe making bygones be bygones with brendan and his connection to joe and everything else is the right thing to do in the long term but it's just another example of just how lame corny and really redacted all of these people are and how maybe we all play a part in it right we all got weirdly invested in this whole entire thing because we felt as if annie lederman was an ally was a person who also maybe understood how much of a douchebag brendan is as much as all, all of us have but the reality is they don't really care they don't really care um they've never really cared and if anything most of them i feel like don't really have a problem with brendan's douchebaggy behavior or maybe his unwarranted and undeserved position in comedy unless they get more or unless they get equal if they have a career that is of equal measure or maybe more than him they don't really give a fuck that's all they really care it only kind of affects them when they feel like their career doesn't really match up to the, his level of fucking celebrity or star power or wherever it may be and the moment it, it starts to fucking hurt their career they always turn about face and make changes you've seen it already with um, Louis J Gomez you've seen it already now with Annie Lederman the moment they feel like it's actually damaging and hampering their career long term they will always 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 make the decision to just acquiesce and be like you know what maybe brendan isn't that bad maybe he's a great guy and never met him hence why this picture came about but last point before i move on to the comments i wonder what brendan's wife thinks of this picture imagine being brendan's wife and this woman effectively in a way threatened the future of your family she tried to break up your marriage she tried to expose your husband you would have these weird conflicted emotions inside of you right because you're not too sure if it's legit if it's not legit but you're also pissed off because she's exposing this and it's putting you in a position it's putting you back into a corner because now the internet and people on social media are looking at you thinking what are you going to do now you're going to divorce are you going to break up with him this guy's cheating on you all the time allegedly he did it with a, he tried to do it with a comedian he tried to do it with another comedian's girlfriend in fucking Kalila. like what's going on and you're backed into a corner then brendan tells you no babe i didn't do it. i didn't do it. i promise you i didn't do it. i promise you i didn't do it and now after the fact they're taking this picture and saying squash fest what are you squashing if you didn't do it if you did nothing wrong and it's not true and it's crazy and it makes no sense did you try to wog any letterman <laughs> to your truck no it doesn't make sense no no <laughs> yeah. it doesn't make sense then why are you saying squash fest 
absolutely heinous, shameless, um, ridiculous, redacted nonsense from all of these guys involved. But again, it's all a big game. Um, they all just want to, you know, they all just play the self-preservation game. They all don't really have a position on anything, really. They excuse anything as long as it kind of allows them to continue on doing what they're doing or doing the thing that they want to do, which is sell tickets and make loads of money. And it kind of goes from there, really. No real morals or principles. And, you know, especially if it does, especially if it puts them in a bad light or in bad favor with Joe Rogan, they will change their entire outlook on life when it comes to those type of things. So that's really been unfortunate to see. But let's read the comments and see what the other people out there not myself had to say about this picture because maybe i'm in the wrong maybe i'm bugging out maybe i'm the one that's reading way too much into it and it really isn't that big of a deal let's see what the comments say i know you escorted him to his vehicle after this lol i'm telling my kids this was taylor swift and travis kelsey and his charity work isn't talked about enough i can't imagine she said anything to make you laugh you must have seen the short yellow bus but he took um to skank fest need to give this guy a need not to give this guy a platform anymore another one hands behind his back so there's no mistake lmao isn't this the guy that tried to publicly ruin bobby lee for no good reason because you'd think that would be an issue too right isn't she good friends with bobby lee didn't brendan and brian get on the phone and try to bully bobby lee and basically accuse him of running or being the person behind the fucking t5k subreddit which in part in part was basically a, a, accusing him of being the mastermind behind quote unquote Brenda's downfall when really that subreddit is just a collection of all of his bad moments clipped up from the stuff that he says himself. They're not trying to create a narrative. They're just taking the words that he says and clipping them and posting them on the fucking subreddit and making jokes. That's all they're doing. And they're making it seem like that whole entire sub is some sort of um, toxic place where they do nothing but try to bring him down when in fact he's the one that's kind of making the content that's keeping that place alive. And if you would take a look in the mirror, maybe have some level of self-awareness, that entire sub disappears within the space of a day. But instead, that's not going to happen. So we have what we have. It continues. So you went to Vegas and got a fo photo with the worst comedian you could find. Another one. That guy isn't funny. And again, remember, these are all her own words. She said, this guy is, what is he? Um, you might be rich, but I no. She said that you're poor because you're not funny. So I must be super rich or something like that. She she went in super hard in Brendan, if you think about it, because comedians don't really do that in public. No other comedian will talk about a comedian openly and name the warders and say, "Hey, you're not funny." They always kind of skirt around it, right? But she named the warders and she said, "You're not funny." your was it comedically bankrupt or something i forgot the line that she said so the fans are just giving her back the fucking words that she said herself i can feel the awkwardness through the photo and he clearly lost a bet and he's still not funny another one trug walk comedy bringing the world together says eric griffin of course cucking for his boss who pays his salary we know that this guy doesn't have a backbone anyway so ignore that one another one it's cool seeing two dudes able to squash their beef mickey rock looking ass podcast you two it's absurd it might it just might work someone got walked glad tupac and biggie squashed their beef one comedian in this photo lmao he's so unaware how redacted he is irredeemably redacted what else you got chin how much did he pay you to be able to go backstage lots of haters here jealous of the high side also i witnessed history jamie kennedy wait you finally went back to his car truck walk 2023 oh no not him sponsored by ford after she talked all that shit exactly actually who, who replied here after did she reply she walked that truck too she walked him to his truck the awkwardness in his photo i cannot wait to hear about this one on trash tuesdays um walk me to my truck i can't talk truck pics riding in the trx to prove the beef squashed it's nice to see you taking photos with aspiring comedians so clearly i'm not the only person the north have an issue with it who's just surprised to see this happen but again should we be surprised right comedians would literally sell their own mother down the river if it meant they could sell tickets and if it meant they could secure a netflix special principles morals um ethics whatever they preach about on fucking podcasts it does not matter when it comes to their career all things could be sacrificed funerals for their own family members weddings of family members can always be missed for an opportunity to perform somewhere and earn some money they will always always choose the bag so in this respect she chose the bag she saved her career and maybe we're going to see a, diff a different vibe in Annie Liederman content going forward. Also, don't be surprised if you see her getting different guests now on her pods. Things might change for the better going forward, clearly. Um, and yeah, man, it kind of is what it is, right? It kind of is what it is. 
Um, nothing really matters with these guys as long as the bag is secured and shit and it is what it is. I don't know what she's laughing about because she said he wasn't funny.